I'm Elaine and welcome to my kitchen. Well, today I'm going to make a recipe called Mexicali Meatloaf that was we got out of a cookbook back in the 80s and actually my husband was the one that found this recipe and used to make it because at the time I was working and so was he and he got home from work a little bit earlier than I did. So he would go ahead and make this recipe up while I was working, and we always enjoyed it and thought it was very good. My children still make it to this day. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this started, and I'm going to show you how easy this is to stir up. So hold on just one second and make it a little bit, bring you up a little closer. There we are. Okay, so in my bowl I have one and a half pounds of ground beef. And to that, I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of oatmeal. That's just uncooked, quick oatmeal. And to that, we're going to add one-half cup of tomato juice. We're going to add one large egg that's already been beaten. We're going to add one small onion that's been minced. Okay, and we are going to add two teaspoons of salt. Now I'm trying to follow this exact to the recipe because my husband always did and this <laughs> came out perfect. Okay, and we are going to add one teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to add one tablespoon of chili powder. This is where it gets its Mexican flavoring. Okay, and hold up just one second. I will be right back with you. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My husband was about to do something that makes a lot of noise, so I wanted to, uh, he wanted me to shut this off just for a little bit while he did that, but we're back. And we have all our ingredients together in this bowl, and I am going to take this over to my mixer and get this mixed up, and when I get it mixed up, I'll be back with you and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I have my uh, meatloaf all mixed up, and we are going to... Take, this is a 9 by 13 baking dish that I have coated with cooking spray because I don't want this to stick. And I'm just going to put this in the baking dish. And we're going to shape this into a loaf. So let me just get this started shaping this up here. And that looks pretty good right there. So what we're going to do, um, at this point I would be putting this in a 350 degree preheated oven for 45 minutes and then at that point we would take it out and I'm going to make a cheese sauce out um, that uses Monterey Jack cheese and it has a little corn in it and we put that over top of it and it'll go back in the oven but I won't be doing that until later on because I have some students later and I'm going to be teaching so I just wanted to get this prepared and so when I get this out of the oven after a while we will be back okay I'm back and our meatloaf is almost done so at this point we're going to make the cheese topping that goes on it. Um, so I am going to turn you down so you can see what we're doing. Okay, and I have started my saucepan with two tablespoons of butter. And we're going to get this melted. So it'll just take a few minutes to go ahead and get this melted. Okay, and now this is two tablespoons of flour and one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to sprinkle this in, just like that. And we're going to cook this just for a couple of minutes so that we can cook that flour. That way you won't get a floury taste in there and it won't be pasty. So we're just going to cook this a little bit. 
for just about two to three minutes. It won't take it long. In fact, I think that's getting pretty close. In fact, I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because I think it's a little it's browning a little bit more than I want it to and faster than I want it to. All right. Okay, so we're getting there. I just want to make sure that that flour is cooked so we don't get a you don't get a pasty or floury taste in this when you when you cook it when you get it to on your on your meatloaf and like I said we're just going to put this on top of our meatloaf when our meatloaf comes out of the oven okay and I think that looks like it's about there. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly pour in the milk. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm going to cook this until it starts to thicken. And uh, when that happens, I will be right back with you. So hold on. Okay, you can see our sauce has started to thicken, so I'm going to remove this from the heat. And I am going to stir in, this is one half cup of Monterey Jack cheese that I'm just stirred into that. So we're going to kind of stir that into that and let it melt. And the last thing I'm going to add this is one can of whole kernel corn that has been drained. This was like an 11 ounce can, I think, something like that. And we're just going to pour that into our sauce. Okay, and in just a few minutes, my meatloaf is going to come out of the oven. So when it does, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, our meatloaf is done. Um, I had just taken it out of the oven. It's been in there for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. And I have drained the excess grease off of it. And at this point, that cheese sauce that we made just a minute ago, we're going to go ahead and pour that right on top of it. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to reserve a little bit of that to clean over it later. Okay, and then we are going to take some green pepper rings, and we're just going to put a couple of green pepper rings on this. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes. So when this is done, um, I will put it on a plate and show you what it looks like. Okay, our meatloaf is done, and I have the sauce over it, and there is what it looks like on the plate. And um, so that's, uh, that's our cheese sauce and our meatloaf, and it came out really good. And uh, these two pieces I'm actually going to be taking over to my mother-in-law so she can enjoy it. Um, she's 94 and can't do a whole lot of cooking, so I try to cook something for her when I can. Okay, so she is going to enjoy that, I'm sure. And I do want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank my brand new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And I appreciate you very much. And I also appreciate my older subscribers that's been with me for a while. Um, you all are very important to me. And I do appreciate you so much. And um, so if you have enjoyed this video and uh, you found it helpful, please uh, add a like and subscribe to my channel. Those likes really help my channel out a lot and I appreciate it. And also if you um, have a comment, um, I always love reading through your comments and I try to respond to every one of them. So again, I do thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great night. We'll see you next time.